Another beautiful day deep divers. I woke up like this all magical and shit with the birds, bees, leaves and trees. Woo! Let's breathe deep divers, let's go. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana baby. Raising the frequency. Raising the vibration. Take that, take that, take that. Good ass energy, I'm sending you peace. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in the heart of nature. That bird is singing, it wants to be in the video. Come in the video. <laughs> the cat down the road loves you. I'm FaceTiming you right now, deep divers. If you are watching this video, this is your confirmation, start of the week, that at some point during this week, you will receive a major breakthrough all you got to do is say thank you, universe, because gratitude makes you a magnet of abundance and everything will align for you. Now, how you feeling, deep divers? Did you watch the monster Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix series? I did. What do I think about it? We got a whole lot to talk about. Monster, Jeffrey Dahmer. How to spot a psychopath monster. Now, Google has me as a psychologist, but I'm also a criminologist and a multidimensional being having a human experience. Google, you left that bit out. So, what did I think of monster Jeffrey Dahmer, the Netflix series which broke Netflix box office records, right? A lot of people have watched it. What do I think of it? We're going to talk about it. And I'm also going to share with you as a psychologist and a criminologist, how to spot a psychopath monster. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? So I so I watched it, Deep Divers. I watched the Netflix series, Monster, Jeffrey Dahmer. And what did I think? Ryan Murphy, great director. Great director, great cinematography. But I also felt that it did a disservice to the victims' families. In fact, one of the victims' relatives was unhappy about this production because they didn't even ask. They did not even ask for their consent. They just went ahead and made the series and it's all about the profit. They made millions of dollars, right? You see, we've got to remind ourselves that it affected real people's lives. People lost their lives and their family members are still alive today. And a lot of people were entertained by it, but we've got to remind ourselves that this is not something to be glorified or sensationalized or even made in an entertaining way for consumers' consumption. This was a real event which Jeffrey Dahmer, a serial killer, killed 17 people, including a 14-year-old boy, Conorak. Condolences to his family. So what did I think of it? I have no sympathy for Jeffrey Dahmer. Why? Because he did not have any sympathy for any one of his victims. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. I truly feel that they should have focused more on the victims because Jeffrey Dahmer wins. If you make a whole Netflix series, monster, Jeffrey Dahmer, he wins. He doesn't deserve the spotlight. They should have made Tracy Edwards, made a whole series about him because he is the real hero in this story. The man who got away and called the police authorities the police failed all of those victims. And that was shown 
in the series. Now, why do I call Jeffrey Dahmer a psychopath monster? Well, you see, the jury said Jeffrey Dahmer was legally sane. However, they said psychologists and people who spent time with him said he had a borderline personality disorder with psychopathic tendencies. Well, you see, the truth of the matter is, the truth of the matter is, as a psychologist and a counselor and a criminologist, I'll give you my diagnosis. Jeffrey Dahmer was a psychopath monster. A psychopath is someone who is unstable with violent behavior, who can also live a normal life. That's what Jeffrey Dahmer was. Psychopath emanating from the Greek, psyche, mind, pathos, pathos, suffering, condition. Jeffrey Dahmer was a psychopath. He had a mind condition, a mental illness. And go and watch my video on seven tips to improve your mental health. Someone you know has a hidden mental illness. And that can be seen as like a good thing that came out of this, if, if we can say there's a good thing, to raise more awareness that there are still Jeffrey Dahmer's walking around today. Mm, amongst you. Slow motion this side. Mm. A lot of people are like, I watched it and I feel sorry for Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't. Why? Because you got to remind yourself. He took the life away of 17 people. He took the lives of 17 people. A 14 year old boy. I have no sympathy whatsoever for Jeffrey Dahmer. He needed therapy. His parents. They knew something was wrong. That's why in the series they said, oh my gosh, he was a strange boy. He needed therapy. And every single person watching this needs therapy. I had therapy and became a psychologist, a counselor, because it's so needed. Now, Evan Peters, great acting as Jeffrey Dahmer. Phenomenal. And I'm like, he needs therapy after that because he played the role so well, it was almost indistinguishable from Jeffrey Dahmer himself. He did what I feel is called method acting. Heath Ledger did it when he played the Joker, right? And it's very dangerous because when you do method acting, it's like you literally become the character you're playing. So great job, great acting, but he needs therapy as well. Who else was there? Nicey Nash, who played the neighbor. Glenda Cleveland, great actress, phenomenal job, phenomenal job, right? So it was great acting, but like I said, we don't want to be focusing all of our attention. We don't want to be focusing all of our attention just on Jeffrey Dahmer, the monster, because that's how he wins. We should be focusing our attention on the victim's families, like Netflix. Did you give all of that money, the millions that you made to the families who are affected by his horrendous acts? Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Oh, it just got real deep divers. So when I was watching this Netflix series, it made me realize that society is sick. And Jeffrey Delma had a mental illness, as do so many people. And that's why we all need to heal ourselves. People need to heal themselves. You need to heal yourself because Monsters don't live under your bed. They live inside of your head. Oh my gosh. So how to spot a psychopath monster? 
according to a criminologist and a psychologist. You know, growing up deep divers, I was always wanting to solve the crime and I did, right? If I wasn't diving deep, I would have been a detective and I still am doing that. <laughs> so how to spot a psychopath monster? Because there is someone that you might know who might have similar hidden tendencies like Jeffrey Dahmer. And if the right time comes along, who knows what they will do? I always tell you, be careful about going outside to clubs. You don't know what someone's going to put into your drink. Ladies, fellas, that's what Jeffrey Dahmer did. He lured his victims back to his apartment. And when they wanted to go, he said, no, you can't leave. He had problems with people leaving his life from early childhood, right? So how do you spot a psychopath? monster someone who looks perfectly normal who is legally sane but inside they are a monster well you see it's the three c's jeffrey dahmer was calm scrap that he was composed. We're going to start with composed. He was very composed, right? Jeffrey Dahmer was composed. And that's why he was very unassuming, unsuspecting. He would go to these clubs. He was very composed. You wouldn't think he was a violent guy when you just met him. He was well-spoken, articulate. Some might, some might even say intelligent, right? And that's why I said the second C is calculating, he was calculating. He targeted his victims. He purposefully, he purposefully chose minority victims because he knew in that neighborhood, people wouldn't care about finding them. Right? He handpicked his victims, the ones who were weak, who couldn't fight back and who were vulnerable. He calculated all of this and he was cold. So the three C's, he was composed, calculating and cold. He was cold. It's like Jeffrey Dahmer had no soul. There was nothing there inside. He was empty inside. He didn't feel anything. And that's why he could do these horrendous acts to people and eat their bodies. Terrible, right? So he was cold. And the symbolism is that when you, ha when you saw him with a drill, deep divers, because he would drill the victim's head like a zombie. He said he wanted to turn them into a zombie, right? But he was the zombie. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. That's why when he said in the inside edition, by the way, Go and watch my video on how to improve mental health, right? First, and then go and see the interview he did on Inside Edition. No handcuffs. They treated him like VIP. He said he didn't have any handcuffs. They're like, hey, you're Jeffrey Dahmer. Go and sit down with this woman, be interviewed. And that's why I told you, he still had this power even when he was in prison until his demise by a fellow inmate in 1994. So he was a zombie. Jeffrey Dahmer was a zombie. But he was composed, he was calculating, and he was cold. And if you know someone like this in your life, deep divers, beware. You want to distance yourself. You want to distance yourself from people who are cold, who don't have a heart, who don't have a soul, who are on demon time. Jeffrey Dahmer was on demon time, hence. First scene, the TV, Anton LaVey, founder of Satanism, right? Church of Satanism in America. He was influenced by people like Anton LaVey. This guy was a zombie, heartless. So this is how to spot a psychopath monster. Someone who is composed, 
calculating, and cold, and also a compulsive liar. Jeffrey Dahmer was a compulsive liar. Now, a lot of people say this, hey, Jeffrey Dahmer was so honest in the interviews. Yeah, that's because they caught him. Jeffrey Dahmer was a coward because he didn't want to get caught. That's why when the police came and the police did a terrible job, right? When the police came and they're like, what are you doing? He didn't own up to it. He told Tracy Edwards, like, hey, we're just playing games, right? And Tracy Edwards in the film said, in the series said, no, we weren't. He said the 14-year-old Conorak was drunk. So the police brought him back to Jeffrey Dahmer's apartment. Everybody was fooled by Jeffrey Dahmer. Let me repeat that. Everybody was fooled by Jeffrey Dahmer. Except the neighbors who were telling the police like, hey, this guy is a psychopath monster. Do something. They ignored their pleas and cries. He was a compulsive liar. He lied about who he really was and he lied about their true in, about, about his true intentions. Do you think if Jeffrey Dahmer went to the club and said, hey, you know what? I want to eat, eat your heart. Will you come back with me? Of course not. But he said, hey, he was a charmer. He was very good at manipulating people to get his way. He was a control freak. That's why he said in the interview in real life, he said, I wanted to control people. I wanted them to be under my control. Right. So he was a compulsive liar. And if you know someone right now who is a compulsive liar. Distance yourself from these people. Jeffrey Dahmer needed help. He was sick. How to spot a psychopath monster? A criminologist, psychologist speaks. Jeffrey Dahmer had a lack of empathy. He could not put himself in other people's shoes. And this is a key trait of psychopaths. They have no empathy whatsoever. It's all about me, me, me. And that's why Jeffrey Dahmer, in essence, was a narcissist as well. It was all about his self-gratification. It was all about his own pleasure. It was all about his own enjoyment in all of this. And this is the reason why you have to remind yourself that anybody who is around you, who has a lack of empathy, who doesn't care, be very aware of these people. Jeffrey Dahmer had a lack of empathy. And this is how to spot a psychopath monster. He had no feelings. He was desensitized. He had no emotions of feeling, of caring for anybody. And if you know someone like that, distance them from your life, right? How to spot a psychopath monster. Monster, Jeffrey Dahmer. Also, Jeffrey Dahmer was gaslighting people. Conorak, the 14-year-old boy who he murdered. He said, oh, he's drunk. He's making it up. It's all in his head. This is what psychopath monsters do. They make you feel like you're the crazy one when in actuality, they're the crazy one. So he was gaslighting his victim saying, hey, it's all in your mind. I'm saying you're crazy. What are you worried about? Don't worry. You can trust me. No, we can't trust you, Jeffrey. So, what else? How to spot a psychopath monster? Jeffrey Dahmer was disconnected, detached from everything and everyone. If you know someone right now who is just so, so, so cold and heartless and soulless and detached and desensitized, beware. Because this is the breeding ground for the psychopath monster. Now, the series went back to his childhood to take a look what went wrong. Like I said, 
Jeffrey Dahmer needed help, and many people still need help in this world. But we shouldn't just focus all of the attention on Jeffrey Dahmer. The real hero of that story is Tracy Edwards. He wasn't doing too well. He had huge trauma after that whole incident. The man who got away, who called the authorities, and that's how they arrested Jeffrey Dahmer. He, he later on became an alcoholic. He hasn't been seen since. He has not been seen since, since 2015. He has issues. So Jeffrey Dahmer destroyed the lives of so many people. But it's a lesson we can all learn from this story that monsters don't lie under our bed. They lie inside of our head. I always tell you, make sure you are having therapy in your relationships. Jeffrey Dahmer came from a very turbulent broken home. His mother and father got divorced. They were arguing all the time. That affected him as a young child. This was all the breeding this was all the breeding ground for his illness. At the same time, it's not an excuse. We must not say that is the reason. No, he was someone who was sick who needed help. And we should not glamorize what he did or glorify what he did, we should send our attention to the relatives of the victims who are still alive today. Netflix, they deserve those millions that you are making of this series. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And if you agree with that, deep divers, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Let's get this truth into the algorithm and then just say, Feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Hey. Beautiful deep divers. I'm just whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Go and get the new book, Deep Divers, for more powerful, life-changing information just like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book. Also, go and get the good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America. If you're a sexy ass model, woo, with a whole lot of heart, you want to model the clothing? Well, go and buy some. Remind yourself, deep divers, that monsters don't live under your bed. They lie inside of your head. And make sure you are improving your mental health every single day. There are Jeffrey Dahmers walking around amongst us. And that's why we must protect our energy. And that's why we must also heal ourselves. I love all of you deep divers. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You hit that like button, deep divers. Share this video. Leave a comment down below of love and appreciation. And let me know how you found the Netflix series on Jeffrey Dahmer. Let me know how this video inspired you. You want me to go live? Just say, go live, Ralph. Hit that like button, deep divers. One love. Peace.